now my pulse chain network has equal value of bad token so that's how easy you can import your tokens from ethereum mainnet to pulse chain hey there welcome to katosh tubes i'm host paras and in today's video i'm going to tell you how you can import any token which is on the ethereum blockchain right onto your metamask wallet now i have shared a video previously in which you can purchase PLS and PLSX tokens using Pulse Chain Dex. If you want to watch that video, just click on the link above and watch that video. And in this video, I will showcase exact steps that you have to take if you wish to reflect tokens on your MetaMask. So let's get started. So now the thing is that Pulse Chain has been launched. It is live. However, it is facing with some congestion issues. So I am in front of the pulse chain screen so this is the pulse chain explorer something like ether scan you have for ethereum it is the scanner for pulse chain so you can see go to this website scan.pulsechain.com where you will see all the transactions just like you see in ethereum so these are the blocks that have been formed let me go to my ethereum account and let me show you what all tokens i have all there so let it open so this is my ethereum wallet as you can see i have ethereum balance here and some bad token now the reason why pulse chain is formed is that it is the fork of ethereum network which means a network which is equivalent to ethereum but better as said by the founder richard hart now all the tokens which are there on ethereum will be replicated on the pulse chain network so if you are getting it I can get this Ethereum of same value on the Pulse Chain network. On Pulse Chain, it will be PLS. Here it is ETH. So if I shift my network from Ethereum to Pulse Chain, I should see the equal value of PLS as I can see right here, which is 0.0063. So let me just switch to Pulse Chain right now. So keep in mind, I have 10.03899 bat which is equivalent to 2.22 dollars so this is bat token so bat token i have covered in my recent videos if you want to know about bat token just click on the link above and watch that video and if you like the video do remember to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the thumb icon so now let's get started i am going to switch to pulse chain now so this is pulse chain so watch closely as i switch to pulse chain so yeah, I am on the Pulse Chain network. It is the Pulse Chain mainnet which I have added. So how to add it? Either it will be automatic if you go to the DEX or you can add it manually by following the Pulse Chain website using manual entry. This is the manual network addition. So you can add it up also. You, all you have to do is go to MetaMask and here you have to add the network and that is done using this option. Just click here and add network and enter all the details written here. You will add Pulse Chain network automatically. Now, since I am on the Pulse Chain network, I don't have bad token. So I need to import the token. So for that, I need to add the token. And to do it, I have to go to Pulse Chain and I have to find the right token. So this is very important step. So either you can type it here, the token name, and it will show you the contract once you enter it or I have shared some of the tokens in the description of the video. I can just need to copy this one. So this is the contract address of bad token on the Pulse chain. So this will be copied equally with the same value as it is on the Ethereum chain. So let me just import this token. So this is a step that you need to follow. So if you want to add hex token, if it is there on your Ethereum network, you need to follow this exact step so let me import this token if the contract address is correct it will show me the bad token so it is saying this address matches a non-ethereum mainnet token address recheck the contract address and network for the token you are trying to add so now it has actually matched the address which is there on the ethereum network which means that it is likely correct i have to check the token whether or not this is the right token so i will type the symbol here and try to add custom token so you can see right here since my address is correct and the token which i am searching for is correct 
it is importing the exact equal value of bat coin which are there on the ethereum mainnet so it is 10.03899 if you don't remember the exact amount just rewind the video and watch that number it should be exact and once i click import token now my pulse chain network has equal value of bad token so that's how easy you can import your tokens from ethereum mainnet to pulse chain also remember the same step will be performed for hex tokens so now if i want to enter this address here what it will show me so it will showing me already a basic attention token address so my address is already correct of course you need to first verify on the blockchain explorer of pulse chain and then try to enter it on the metamask for your information i will be adding all these tokens in the description of the video so you can copy it and paste it on your metamask and then import your token so if you don't see your tokens let's say hex token dai token usdc or usdt which are there on ethereum mainnet if you don't see on your pulse chain mainnet follow this step and you will get all your tokens on your metamask it will be visible to you so that's what the video is about to watch the video shared on the screen and remember i create videos every day for you only on cryptocurrency again do remember to subscribe and do follow my channel katosh tubes thank you